Live from somewhere in the Atlantic Ocean is the Insane Board Game Freak Show with your host, Media Insane Board Game Freak. Come on, let's go, everybody. In this episode. In this episode. Snag the fish and be the winner. But if the shark jumps, you'll be his dinner. Shark bite. The game. Quick. To the board game room. Alright, here it is. It's shark bite. And in this game, you're going to have a die. You can roll either mostly all um, one fishes. And then you got two fishies. Okay. So that's the only one that you can roll that's uh, two fish. The rest of the sides are all one single fish. You're going to get these two um, fishing rods. It's a two to four player game, but they give you two fishing rods. Okay. So you share. That's all. Now, in this game, you're going to um, carefully set this shark down. You gotta put the decals on the eyes. You know, the eyes decal stickers on the eyes there. You gotta um you know push him down and then uh keep his mouth open and you're gonna hear a click. Um you're gonna click these um these uh crustaceans and different fish underwater creatures in the um mouth of the shark in those holes that you see here. See? Okay, now you're going to roll a die, and everybody's going to have a fun time pulling out fish. So I roll a two. So that means I get to pick any color I want and pick out two fish. So I'm going to go one, two. Okay, so now after that, the other person goes... And they roll a die, and they pick out one fish. Okay, so they take their fishing rod, and they're going to pull a fish out. Now, people are going to keep on pulling out fish, all right? So, on your turn, you roll a die to indicate how many sea creatures you need to catch. Using your fishing rod, hook one sea creature at a time. You can choose whatever sea creatures you would like, but once you have hooked one, you must pull it up. If nothing happens after you catch all of your fish, the game continues, okay? You know, or if you run out of fish, you put them back in there, that's it. And you try again. When the shark jumps, the round is over, and the player who has collected the most fish is the winner, okay? Now, reminders of that. When you have hooked a fish, make sure to pull upwards in a firm motion. If you have no fish left and the shark has not jumped, simply reset the shark by placing the fish back into the base, like I said before. But be cautious, though. Caution. Please instruct the children if you're playing this game at home, folks. Um, if you got kids, um, please instruct your children to keep their faces at least 12 inches away. Uh, you know, a foot away from the shark's mouth to avoid being struck when he jumps, all right? So you're going to keep on plucking out fish and then until the shark goes. Oh, and he got me, okay. So when he jumps up, that's what he looks like. And I'll do that again in instant replay. You got to push it down like that. See? The shark's back down. And let's say, for example, you got like a full a full mouth of fish or whatever. You're going to keep going. Keep pulling. All right. Oh, so put the fish back in. Okay, so I'm going to keep trying. I want to show you how it's going to pop up now. Da -da -da. Come on, sharky. Come on. Oh, he 
got me. Arr, chomp. Dun 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 now let's see what my final thought of the game is. Okay, now. Final thoughts. What do I think about this game? I love this game, Shark Bite. It's cool, it's fun, it's fast, quick, and easy to play. Kids love it, they get so excited. And uh, always remember, though, keep your face and kids faces away parents you know keep a uh, watch on the kids and even yourselves and other players <clears throat> make sure they don't stick their hands in there or anything or you know or make sure that they're not too close they stand away like that and they go and have a good time and have fun because there's nothing fun about getting hurt so make sure they don't get hurt while playing this game okay keep total supervision while playing this game or any games with any motion, you know, or quick sudden things that can give them shock or whatever, okay? The, these games aren't dangerous. They're just toys, but, you know, you want to just take the proper precautions, that's all, and be safe and happy and have fun and have a good time while playing the games. Okay. Uh, this has been a public service announcement from the insane board game freak. <laughs> okay. Now, no, I'm only kidding. But, yeah, I am serious, though. Watch, watch yourselves and the kids while they're playing, you know, these kind of games or any games at all. Always keep total supervision over the kids and yourselves and have a good time. Be safe and have fun playing the game. Now, I love this stuff because um, it's one of those kind of games that you do something and you keep doing it and doing it until it does something back to you kind of game. Okay, that's what I call these kind of games. So it's got a really long name to the game, but whatever. Uh, I don't want to take too long about discussing this game, though, because there's not really much to talk about. All you're doing is you're plucking the fish out of the shark's mouth, waiting for the shark to come up and bite you, and that's it. And whoever gets bitten loses in the game. And then whoever has the um, whoever's left in the game wins, or whoever has the most fish wins, and that's it. I love that you can roll a die and it determines how many fish you take. Too bad there's not any more fish. You know, like, um, it's mostly all, like, single fish that you can pluck out of his, take out of his mouth. But there's only one side that has two fish you could take out of his mouth. Big deal. That's Shark Bite, everybody. Okay? Uh, look, that's it, everybody. Uh, looks like this game is over. Board game freak out. Oh. Oh.